We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look, and you'll see into your imagination. We'll begin with a spin. Hello, Hoopers. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to do the Ooh Girl in a dance sequence. So a while back, I dropped a tutorial called the Ooh Girl. And today, we are gonna learn how to flow and dance with it. So down below in the description is a link that will bring you to the Ooh Girl. So if you don't already know how to do the Ooh Girl, go learn how to do that. Meet me back here and then we can get started. Okay, let's go. Okay kids, before you get started with this tutorial, I want you to go into the description and look at the list of prerequisites you need to know first before jumping into this. After you do that, go on your little checklist, make sure you know how to do everything, you can get started. Okay, so I start this sequence off with my body facing stage left, which is the audience is right, so I'm going to be speaking in stage to, today to make things easier for myself. So I'm facing stage left, I have my left leg pointed outwards, and I have my right leg in a slight bend. I'm going to take the hoop in whoop, my right hand. This tutorial works just as well if you want to do it on the opposite side. Um, I recommend starting the trick off in your dominant hand. So, whichever way floats your boat. Pick up the hoop, wrap it around my back, grab it with my other hand, and then I do what I call pussy fans, which is just doing this with the hoop, loose grip, just wobbling it back and forth, but it's over me, around my paginal area, hence the name. And then I do two body rolls. So after you have completed your pussy thing and your two body rolls, you bring the hoop up, place it on your arms, get ready for um, a barrel roll or a smear. Either one works here. I like to do barrel rolls, but if smears are your thing, do you. So here, here, we step. One, two, three. leg wraps around. Notice how this leg stays straight and my toe is pointed the entire time while there is a slight bend in my left leg for the point. So wrap around. The hoop's going to come up. So we fold up, fold down, place it on the back of your right leg, brace yourself with your right hand on your right leg and then bring your left arm up like a so. So let's put all that together. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. After you finish this, you're going to turn back and then slide your leg in. That way the hoop very gracefully falls onto your ankle crevice. After the hoop is comfortably placed on your ankle crevice, you're going to fly like a bird. And when I do this, I do a little bit of a chest roll with it. So I start kind of tucked and as my arms come up, I lift my chest and I roll out the rest of my body, like what we did at the beginning. So, fly like a bird. Then you go into your ooh girl. So, ooh girl. Okay. Dance around, do a fun pose. After you do a few wedgies, you can maybe count off four or five pounds in the one. Two, three, four. Do a 
little wedgie flip up. Fold your hoop in. Scoop your hoop up and out. And pose. Okay? Let's put it all together. In our starting position. Going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. We'll begin with a spin. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial today. I hope it's helping you on your hula hoop journey and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new today. Hasta luego, friends. I love you.